And in the U.S., the first instance of PB was in 2009, and since then has grown tremendously. At the Participatory Budgeting Project, we have one mission, and that is to empower people to decide together how to spend public funds. Participatory budgeting is a process that really requires us to come together, and the seating arrangement is really important. This is a democratic process in which community members directly decide how to spend a portion of a public budget. So yes, folks have an opportunity to determine how funds are spent in community, but they also have an opportunity to learn how to navigate. Young people that engaged in uh, participatory budgeting in the first year, Harvard University did a study. This is one of my favorite things. Young people that were involved in the study reported that they were more likely to vote in local and national elections as a result of participating in PB. They were more likely to step into a city-owned building. They were more likely to volunteer. They were more likely to check out a community-based organization. They were more likely to have a conversation with an elected official. There's a higher percentage of low-income residents who vote in PB than they do in local or national elections, so there's really an opportunity to see some focus and prioritization of those that are often left out, that are often hard to reach, but that really are easy to ignore. And I think that's part of the equation for building healthy communities.